Well, the Chairman House Committee on Appropriation, Mustafa Dawaki, is here with us, and he joins me now from Abuja. Thank you so much for joining us on the News at 10. Thank you very much. All right, let's just go straight into it and look at um, the figures, for instance. And we see um, an increase from 7.298, as, as was said in the report, to 7.441 trillion naira. Why, why is that? In, why, what's the reason for that? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the uh, increase in the total uh, budget is as a result of the $2 increase that we increase uh, in the uh, benchmark uh, price of crude oil from $42.5 uh, to $44.5. Yes, I know there is that discrepancy in the figure. How, how did you come about that, as that is different from what the executive presented? There is a difference of that translate into $131 billion dollars uh, that is added to the to the total of 7.2 uh, trillion that was uh, presented by the president so whatever difference you see is as a result of uh, the increase of two dollars which is uh, converted into naira and translated into the current uh, 7.441 trillion uh, naira all right i know that you were you said you had met with mem you know ministers to work on this particular document. Did you also work with the, member, with the executive as well, you know, to avoid things that we see in terms of returning the bill and, you know, the back and forth that normally happens during the passage of the budget? Just talk us through the process. Yeah, we, we have done that uh, even at the initial stage and uh, we actually worked together with the Minister of Budget and DG Budget and the Minister of Finance together with the National Assembly and the, and the two uh, senior special assistants to the President on National Assembly, both Senate and House. And uh, we agree on a lot of things and uh, I believe that uh, what we have agreed is what we have uh, uh, done in the in the budget process, just like um, for the first time in the history, uh, National Assembly conducted uh, a public hearing, which we call a people's budget, and people were given the opportunity to come and present and express their views on the national budget, and which we translated into into the budget. All right, looking at the 2016 budget now, I mean, that's still running. It is going to expire pretty soon. How confident are you that the 2017 budget is, is going to come on stream before that happens? The 2016 budget has already expired. Uh, it has been, the account has been closed because the budget uh, for 2016 was assented in, uh, on the 6th of uh, May 2016 and uh, the, the budget expires on the 5th of May 2017. So that one has already been closed and uh, there's no any further implementation of 2016 budgets. Okay, so hence the rush. Thanks for clearing that up. Um, looking at it once again, even though we know our focus is the 2017 budget, it was mired in controversy talking about the padding issue. What are you doing differently this time around for us not to have um, such issues when, when, when you're done? I can see you're smiling already. Uh, is that a difficult like, question? Uh, the word padding, you know, it's, a, it's an alien word to the legislature and uh, we then actually uh, look at it as uh, part of legislative language. And uh, what I know is that um, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the Physical Responsibility Act has given the National Assembly the power to tinker with the budget, the power to amend, in fact, the power to remove or even to add new projects, you know, depending on which project is a priority. Maybe the executive what they have submitted, maybe there are other things that are priority that the National Assembly feels that yes, when we take this project is for the interest of the nation so we can add that project or maybe uh, a project has been allocated amount that we feel that is, uh, is, uh, is high then we can also cut part of that uh, amount uh, allocated to another project which we feel that it is in the interest of the country. So we are representative of the people and uh, we also represent various constituencies in Nigeria. So 
we travel by road, we travel by air, and we've, we've, we have seen so many problems, especially on Nigerian roads and uh, various infrastructure. So actually, we normally sit down and, uh, and expect to address these issues. All right, thank you so very much. Chairman, House Committee on Appropriation, Honorable Mustafa Dawaki, for sharing your thoughts on the news at 10 tonight. Thank you.